have the rail blush with the desk. Underneath there are the eight holes. Go to the bolts that I uh, cut. Eventually it's gonna sit like that. Here's three washers and one of these nuts just below that. Here's the saw. The idea, if you can imagine, this is the bottom of the desk to drill a hole. I'm using a uh, drill collar matched up to the top of this nut. Drill a hole, take the nut, and use a hex key to screw it in. Then the bolt goes right through it. So it goes desk, nut, rail, washer, bolt. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. First, I'm going to drill all my holes. <laughs> what are you doing? What I might have to do, just take like a sharpie and mark all these. Find myself a marker. That'll do, I guess. Ooh, this one I'm nervous about. It's right on the edge. I think it should be fine. I'm a little nervous about those marks being off, so I'm gonna take a little baby drill. Of Maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's what I want. Now, I have all these little marks drilled out. Oh, I forgot to do that one, fuck me. I don't know if I can film this. Oh, monster, get the fuck out of here. right along there that sucks but i'm gonna make sure i clean out the other holes first this is a, a learning experience after all the other thing i could do is toss the clamp back on hopefully that kind of just helps keep things together yeah that works apparently my phone's overheating from the flash well i kind of need the light yeah we'll just see what happens i have a flashlight so that'll work even better i wish i had like a headlamp Fucking drill ran out of battery. That last one worked pretty well. I'm gonna rinse and repeat. I have a clamp here to give it some support. Should be wearing safety glasses or something. But I don't have any, so I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed. <laughs> I should get a level. Let's get a level. Yeah. So I don't have safety goggles, but I do have this. The washers that I have can't fit through the first hole. They really need to be on the second hole down here. So in order to fix that, I took a washer. It's gonna be a weight. I attach it to a big piece of string. I'm gonna drop it down the channel. The string is very long. Monster, get out of that, dude. Shoo, shoo. And then in the middle, I'm gonna uh, have enough length to tie a washer through then drag it through the channel until it needs to get where it needs to go. Okay, so I have the very end bolts in because I was able to just kind of slip the washer through. Now I have my, my weighted string, and then, so for the rest of the holes, I have a washer on a string, and it's not like knotted, so I can move it forward and back, and I'm gonna fish it right through the channel. Fish it through, aha, there it is. Probably gonna need two hands for this, but I do wanna show you, then I can lock it in there with the bolt, pull the rest of the string through it, and that way, it's like where it needs to be. Okay, I got a problem though. The bolt being in there is making it so there's not enough slack in there. So I'm gonna have to approach this differently. I could thread the six remaining washers on the string exactly the amount of distance apart that they need to be, but I fear I, mean, I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. So instead what I did is I threw weights on this side and I tied a separate string with the washer here. I'm gonna just feed it through and I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna do far end first. And then I'm just gonna keep pulling the main string out and attaching new strings on like this to feed them through. At the end, each washer is gonna have these little things and they could get in there and kind of cut it from underneath, I, I guess. The string that attaches the washer to the main string needs to be loose enough to be pulled like this, but tight enough to actually be fed through the channel reliably. There it is. So my twine broke. It's gonna be hard to get washers through there. Oh, I know what I could do though. I have an idea. One more idea. Hang with me. 
So it's pretty much impossible for me to thread this all the way through here easily, but it is much easier for me to go in one, not the other, create enough slack. And now I'm gonna go in this one and not that one. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Okay, we're back in business. I can't believe that the universe hasn't punished me yet for all the stupid fucking shit I've done on this already. I also can't really believe how like relatively okay these holes are. I have to take below them drilling up. I didn't really have the right angle. Bam, washer. Okay, I got the island key in there. I'm not trying to tighten any of these. I just gotta cut this, cut this off the washer. So I got these little tweezers that came in a set of like in-ear monitor headphones. They work relatively well for this, probably. Ha. Bam. Let's see if I can go clean up some of those other other holes too. I can't believe it, but I didn't get punched at all. That's all the way in. It's all the way in. Uh, that's all the way in. That's all the way in. That one's in. That's good. This was the worst one, and like it's like good enough. That one's in. I can't believe I didn't get punished for how fucking shitty that those holes were. Uh, it came out pretty much flush, and then on this side, it's pretty much flush. All right now, it's time to get some some stuff on it. And then there's my little helper monster. Sleeping in the bass drum. What a good boy. Oh yeah, it's not done yet. But these things fucking slide. This thing slide in and out of my way. Super fast. What do you think, monster? Yeah. Hopefully it goes without saying that I'm not a professional at this stuff. The Monster Tech Rail is super cool and it's gonna make my life a lot easier moving forward with all my whole task here. I'm really excited to start getting into it more often. If you're interested, please feel free to come by my YouTube channel when Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2 goes live. I'm gonna be starting fresh and doing a ton of these zero to hero sessions and I'm gonna be using the joysticks all the time. So hopefully it's a fun time. Thanks for watching.